Hi there, welcome to another Transformers toy review. Uh, today we're going to take a look at another Generation Select figure. So this is uh, Exhaust. Uh, and this guy is a basically a repaint, slight retool, I guess, of Wheeljack. You can see from the um, start, obviously, he comes in robot mode. He comes in those kind of brown mailer boxes with the instructions. Uh, those of you who got Wheeljack will be familiar with the transformation. He doesn't transform or do anything too much different. Uh, one thing you will notice, instead of having a Decepticon symbol, he's got... Um, this kind of symbol on the front here, which kind of looks a bit like um, kind of a, a bearded Decepticon. It's a, a little bit weird. I forget the name of the uh, alliance, uh, but basically they've got um, him and a few others like Double Dealer, etc. pegged as kind of mercenaries who will basically, you know, switch to whoever's winning. So they're not necessarily affiliated with either side. More, I would say, Decepticons, but... Uh, they would quite easily also turn their back on the Decepticons if someone else came along. Um, take a look at the uh, figure. Uh, paint's pretty good on him. Uh, you've got uh, silver paint on the head. A bit of a different head sculpt that you've got for him, but um, it certainly does look familiar. You can kind of look up and down, rotate his head all the way around. Uh, can't, you can get it a little bit side to side. Uh, these bits... Um, just plain white, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, I think taking them off, um, I've got that chrome paint that I've mentioned in a different review. It'd be quite a good idea. I'm quite tempted to paint underneath here. So then you've got these kind of silver bits coming out, a bit like Wheeljack, unless I actually do it for Wheeljack, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, red paint on here and then white paint on the top with the um, Decepticon-ish logo. The arms rotate around, they kind of stop there, but you can kind of bend it around if you just move that bit out of the way. Yeah, so you get a swivel here as well, um, and that's kind of stopped up to about there, and the arm can bend up. Can it go again as well? Not. No, just up to there. The hands do rotate around, and you've got various pegs to put his different weapons so this one here can also peg onto his shoulder he says like that a little focus like so and you can also take this off and peg it into the side of his arm or have him hold it in his hand like so so up to you. I think I prefer either on the shoulder or on the side here. I don't think it looks quite so good held in his hand like that. You get waist articulation here. That goes all the way around. And his legs, you can get him kicking all the way up to the front, all the way to the back. Well, mostly. I think we're given, to, given that. And out to the side, you've got a swivel, which is on there like a universal joint. Uh, is that universal? I don't know. Um, and then the leg bends up to there. It's a little bit hollow inside, um, which is unfortunate. The foot bends forward all the way, up a little bit, and then you get that kind of tilt out as well, which goes a fair bit. There's lots of paint on his legs, so you get the red paint on here, and then all of this detailing here, which you'll see more in vehicle mode, and even the wheels are painted here as well. And that paint comes through on the feet as well. And there's a, a look from the back at various places where you can pick his guns and other accessories. So if you want to build them up, you've got those foot bits that you can put in for the weaponizers um, or other guns that you can add on to him um, and ones either side here. So be interesting to see what he looks like or guns blazing so we'll get him transformed um, if I can remember how so you push this bit out here now this bit is a little bit stiff but it will go you just have to kind of force it a little bit so it's a little bit scary at first um, these bits will kind of come in together like that and you can see it's got exhaust bandit on the back here and then uh, these bits here 
come in like that, I think. And swivel round. Ah, uh, yeah, and like that. Bring these together, and you see that will peg into there. I think this will swivel over as well, so you can do that. Um, peg that to there. Let's bring that in. And this bit will peg into here as well at the same time. So it's a case of just kind of getting it right. You just have to sort of do a bit of jiggery pokery like that. And then these bits will peg in together as well once you've got those bits done. That'll make it a little bit easier. And you can see you've kind of got the back end then already done. Um, and then these bits bend forward like that and they'll just peg into place and on here uh, these bits will kind of peg out and as you move that you just want to bring this bit out as well at the same time and then you kind of fold that into there you just kind of bring that windshield into that gap um, I'm not sure if this is the order that you're supposed to do it into. Um, this is the way that I do it anyway. And then kind of get it like that. Just kind of line it up like that in there first, I do anyway. Get it lined up. Sometimes these bits pop out. That's my one, one of the complaints about this one then this windshield is going to peg down into that gap there. You can see where it is. I haven't got it quite lined up properly on this side here. There we go. And then it's a case of just pegging everything into place. And then you've got him in his vehicle mode. Pretty impressive. And you can say uh, definitely looks a bit more Decepticon-y. Um, Quite a few differences in the color scheme. I don't have, I do have wheeljack, but not with me currently to be able to get them out and do a bit of a comparison. Oh, I did have them somewhere. Um, he is about somewhere, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, here he is in his vehicle mode. Uh, you see, he's got um, some nice lettering down the side here, and most of it um, kind of blends in well. So this red and this red, they're all the same color. The only thing is slightly different is this, where it's painted white here and the color of the white plastic here, this bit stands out a little bit better. Nothing too bad, it's got the number seven on the side there, the same on the other side. So it looks a bit the same on both sides with that weird Decepticon kind of symbol and exhaust on the top here. Um, Bandit, I'm not quite, I can't remember what that's bit, but it's got certainly got exhaust on a few different places in around him and the number 598 and then you can peg this gun onto the top there if you want to I think you can also peg it onto the back like that as well uh, so you can have it on the side so there's a, a few different places where you can have it I'll probably have it on the, on the back there to start off with and just have them like that but uh, that's it really guys I just wanted to give you a quick look at this figure I haven't seen too many people review him but uh, I think he's well worth getting hold of you know it's um it's quite in my mind anyway quite kind of a, an iconic character um I would like to see him make an appearance maybe in the cartoon series it'd be really cool to see how they try and develop this character maybe even in the comics that'd be really interesting to see if we get a representation of him in that as well because as far as i'm aware i don't think he's been in either anyway that's it for now guys uh thanks for watching and as always please stay safe cheers bye bye for now